I don't want him to suffer anymore. Hunter's boy. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Audrey and I am a special needs mom to Autumn who has Down syndrome and autism. And I'm also a fit mom. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. On this video, I will be sharing with you all about our family dog named Duke. He was 13 years old and on June 26th, unfortunately he did pass away. I will be sharing clips of that and it is a little bit disturbing for some viewers and I do give you a warning before I show those clips, but I just wanted to let you know viewer discretion is advised. home huh well, we're going to the <laughs> he's like we're almost home and I'm happy I could be in my cozy bed all three of them he's got three cozy beds <laughs> three for you Duke these are your favorite you want it he likes to run away he takes it and he runs away he does that every single time. <laughs> and then he kind of like freaks out for a little while you did. <laughs> he cracks me up when he does that. Looks like a boy. Are you saving it for later? He's like, I don't know about it. He's like, why are you watching me eat my treat? <laughs> the other day when he did it, he took a bite out of it and then left another piece of it for later. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Oh no, he's eating it. He loves those things. I think his Jen used to get it for him. Didn't you Jen spoil you with those? He's like, you know it. It's delicious. Is that Duke's other favorite spot, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> Underneath all the mall, her food drops he, so he can catch it. <laughs> or, 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 and Autumn always gets mad at him. Or, 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 but feeds him. It makes no sense. Yeah, but... There's no method to her madness. She's like, oh, I'm going to throw my food. <laughs> oh, why are you picking it up? You know, Duke, I don't think she has anything you want. Because she's going to eat fruit next. <laughs> He's like, okay, you're right. Nothing else left. I'm going to be done. <laughs> Duke, so are you getting spoiled? Duke, are you getting spoiled by Andy? <laughs> He's a good boy. You good boy? Yeah? You wondering why we're spoiling you so much? Are you happy boy? Yeah? Are you good boy? <gasps> Duke's a good boy. Duke is a good boy, huh? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's giving you kisses. <laughs> Are you giving kisses? Yeah? I gave him a treat already. Like I spoiled him. I was like, oh, you can have another treat. <laughs> huh? Did I spoil you? He's a good boy. He's not sitting like he used to. I know, right? He's kind of sitting with his legs like out. I think it's because he doesn't have as much meat on his bones, you know, because he's so thin. And so it's harder for him. You know what I mean? That darn heart of yours, Duke. Getting old is dumb, huh? He's gonna go under the chair. He likes to go under the chair when I'm, I'm on this chair. He hides under there. I don't know why he does that. <laughs> so this is Duke's other bed that we have in the gym while I work out. <laughs> and he's got another blanket in here. He's super cozy. Come on, Duke, are you cozy in there? He's a good boy. He's Duke's your good boy? He's Duke's your good boy? Yeah, Duke's your so good boy. He always hangs out with me though. When I do my workouts, he stays right there in the bed. Anyways, until I'm done. <laughs> so this is Duke's third bed. That's in our room, right by our bed. And this is a super cozy, fancy bed by Serta. Huh, Duke? 
Duke. <gasps> Hi, buddy. He seemed really, really out of it today. Ah, huh, buddy. You tired? My good boy. When we get home, he's always here to greet us. Huh, Dexter? Are you always here to greet us? You always here to greet us? Love you. You, you want chicken for dinner? You want chicken? Yeah? <laughs> he likes to follow me around, too. He's like, right by my feet, always. He's like, heck yeah. <laughs> Give me that chicken. He does. So I hope to be surprising my husband when he gets off work today. Because we were out of town on Father's Day, so we didn't celebrate Father's Day on Father's Day. So I did something special for him. I got him a pie. This is from Polly's Pies. And the boys made cards. And we got like his favorite candy. He likes your peppermint patties and he likes dark chocolate. So those are dark chocolate pomegranate things, dark chocolate pretzels. We also got dark chocolate almonds. And we also got black licorice. Nobody else in the house likes it but him. <laughs> and then I made him this thing. And those are some pictures that are from this year. So I hope he likes it. I did want to point out that the boys did do the streamers all by themselves. And they did these streamers too. Autumn is on the swing right now. If you could probably see her. But they did the streamers there too. So my workout and look who's there duke in his other bed <laughs> he's such a good boy <laughs> feels good to get my workout done i did some hill sprints when i go upstairs he'll follow me because he's such a good boy and even though it's hard for him to get up the stairs he refuses not to follow me that's how well he is here he comes. He's following me. I was just putting some stuff in the dryer and he's already on his way to follow me. Hi, booby. Hi, Duke, your boy. That's a good boy. Your boy is a gangster. <laughs> he's such a good boy. He's such a good boy, huh, Duke's your boy? You ready to go upstairs and go to bed? You want it? So since we found out about Duke and stuff, I've just been spoiling him and giving him all the foods he really loves. He loves eggs and he loves sausage and bacon. And I know that we don't have that much more time with him, so I've just been trying to make him the foods he loves. He's really limping weird today. I don't want to face it, you guys. I know we have to go put him down and I just don't want to do it. Like a little while ago, he was fine. And then he kind of limped over to the bed. And so I was like, oh, great. Duke, you want to eat? Duke. I mean, the fact he's not wanting to eat is never good. Duke, I made you some eggs. Do you want some eggs? It's not like him at all. He would run over here and eat it like crazy. Duke. I know that my sister, she just put her dog down, so she told me that when her dog stopped eating and was kind of like lumping around, that they went and took him in to, to put him down. <sighs> you guys, it's gonna be so hard. Duke. Do you wanna eat? It's funny, because yesterday he was completely acting like himself. And today, not so much. So I've just been giving him lots of love. I'm gonna go put this in the other room and see if he does ever eat it. I'm gonna put it over here by his water. Usually when he hears the dish, he just comes running. Oh, poor Duke. I don't think he feels good. So I just keep laying here with him, rubbing him, poor thing. I was gonna try to give him a bath, but he gets so upset, so I don't wanna make him upset. It's just, he's not himself. He's a cuddle bug, too. He loves to cuddle. Dukester boy. He's kind of breathing weird. <laughs> I'm not ready to let you go, Duke. <laughs> but if he's not eating, I know. 
I'm going to take him in. I don't want to do it. He usually, like, falls me around. I'm going to be so lonely without you, Duke. Maybe I was in denial, like I thought, you know, he's getting better. <laughs> I know he's not getting better, but I don't want to believe it. Hot oh, Dukester boy. Well, Duke's drinking something, so that's a good sign. I made him something to eat. I was hoping he'd eat it. We'll see if he does. But he might not be up to it, which is okay. Autumn's on the swing. Autumn, hi! Hi! <laughs> he is certainly drinking a lot of water though. He's kind of like stumbling a little bit. I don't think it's very easy for him to get back to his bed. He's not shaking, is he? You look like he's shaking to you? See, he's having a hard time walking. That's the weird thing, is he's walking really weird. Like he, he seems like he's like. I don't know, he's like staggering to walk. You notice that? God, he looks so thin. I think we're gonna have to go take him. I don't even know if he's gonna make it to Monday. See how weird he's walking? Just to get to his bed, it took him like much time. I was taking a video so I get your dad. Because it, it was weird. He didn't even want to get in his bed. Like, it would think it was even too hard for him to get in his bed earlier. And he doesn't usually do that. And he did that again. I just made the appointment to uh, have the book down. I don't want him to suffer anymore. Oh, deuce to boy. <laughs> He just like tried to walk back to his bed and he, he threw up. So I called the vet to make the appointment. <clears throat> I don't want to do it, but I don't want him to suffer anymore. Huh, Dookie? Dookie's been such a good boy. I love him so much. He's my good boy. He's just really not acting like himself though. Huh, buddy? He's just not himself. He's very sick. I know he's thirsty. Move his water closer so he doesn't have that far to go. He wants to go outside. Out your doggy door you go, little boy. You want to go lay down in the sun? He's thinking about it. He's gone to Dougie Heaven and he went before we even were ready, but he was ready. He's such a kind and peaceful dog. We're gonna make you a little memorial and we're gonna get your ashes and we're gonna put them on the mantle or on the shelf.
He's doing it! Was he freaking out? <laughs> a beggar yeah, he... over here. How huh, Dukesters? You need to be groomed. You look nasty. You a hot ass mess. So funny. He keeps doing this because he wants some of my meat. You're funny. You know I have steak, huh? <laughs> Autumn and her towel obsession. And then Duke, he's chilling. We haven't watched uh, SpongeBob Atlantis in a while. This dog, he follows me everywhere I go. Hi, Dukesters. <gasps> Who's a good boy? <gasps> Who's a good boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. You guys, this dog. P.S. Who else has to have their bed made every day because I have to do it? But this dog, he has a dog bed right here. Dog bed. This is where he lays. Either on my pillow or my husband's pillow, and he gets so mad. He's like, get that dog off the bed. I'm lying when I say this dog follows me everywhere. And why am I watching this? Autumn's not even in here. <laughs> <laughs> Duck. Hi, buddy. Who is this kid right here? Hi, Andy. How are you? <laughs> What's up, bro? That popcorn sure smells good, bro. And Duke's yeah. over here licking his butt. No biggie. Put it in the sink like a big girl. You gotta lick every last drop. And hey Duke, Joe, are you fall. excited to go to Grandma's? Oh, or are you excited oh, to go to Indio, yeah, I should say? Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, Duke, be careful. Your nails are getting so long and you need to be groomed. I got an appointment to get him groomed on Thursday, did you know? So his nails won't be so sharp. Are you excited to go to Indio? I've never been to Indio before. Yeah. So what's what are you most excited about? What, what I'm gonna see there. Well, yeah, because they have a lot of pools and like a lazy river and it's gonna be really hot. Ah, uh, lazy river, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Adam. <laughs>
I had mentioned in my previous video that we got the bad news about Duke when we were on our trip in Los Angeles for Andrew's 16th birthday. My parents had been watching him for us and they had noticed that he had what they think was a seizure and they were really upset. They didn't even think he was gonna make it through the seizure. So they took him to the vet and the vet did a lot of scans and ultrasounds and stuff like that and they found out that he had heart failure. And there wasn't much they could really do. They said there was a chance that you could do this really expensive surgery, but he might not even survive the surgery. And since he was so old, he was 13, and that's like 91 in dog years, we didn't want to prolong his life to be selfish. Duke we had lived a very long, happy life, and we, of course, were devastated to have to let go, but we knew it was the right thing to do. And we picked up Autumn and Joe, because they stayed with my parents while we were on our trip in Los Angeles. And we took Duke home, and that's what you saw in the very beginning of the video. That was us taking him home. We spent the next three days really spoiling him. The first two days, it was weird. It was almost like he was better. It was almost like he was himself again, and he ate really good. I made him chicken every night for dinner. I made him eggs for breakfast. I mean, he got spoiled. He didn't get his typical dog food. He got like people food, so he was happy. <laughs> you saw in the video that he was kind of like begging for Autumn's food, which he, does. he used to do that a lot. We also gave him lots of treats. Treats. He like loves those treats that I showed you guys in the video. So on June 26th, he was acting really weird. He wouldn't eat. He did vomit one time and all he wanted was water. He was staggering around and he was like not walking like his usual self. He had a really hard time. He couldn't even get up the stairs at this point. He couldn't even do much. He would like walk and then stop and then rest for a few minutes and then walk and then stop and then rest for a few minutes. I kind of showed you guys that in the video. So I gathered myself together. I contacted the vet and I said, you know, we need to get our dog put down today. We already know he's very sick and we've already taken him to the vet by my parents' house. Do you guys have any available appointments? They're like, we have an appointment for 5 p.m. if you want to bring him in. And so we had had it in our head. Okay, 5 p.m. is going to be the time. Andrew is going to go with me and my husband is going to stay. <sighs> We were all outside in the backyard and it was four o'clock and Autumn was in the swing, Joe was in the pool and Andy was watching, looking at some a scrapbook with me on the patio and I was like telling him about the scrapbook. And he climbed, Duke climbed underneath my chair and I had noticed he was kind of like pushing up against my feet. And so I looked down and I, it looked like he was just kind of nudging me, you know, for attention. So I didn't really think anything of it. I think, I thought he just wanted attention. He likes to go under my chair no matter where I am, if I'm outside or if I'm inside. So I didn't think anything of it. We all decided to get ourselves together and go in the house. And Andrew's like, oh, well, we should take Duke with us. And I'm like, no, let him lay there. He looks happy. He loves being outside. Like that's where he feels comfortable. And I knew we only had like an hour before we had to go to the vet. So I was like, just let him lay outside. So the next thing I know, my husband's like, Duke's doing something funny. And so we both go outside and we're looking at him and it looks like he's having a seizure. Like he's shaking, he's doing the like convulsion kind of thing. And my husband's like, I don't think he's breathing anymore. And so I looked at him and I was like petting him and I was like, he was doing like these convulsions, but he wasn't breathing. So I think he had already passed at that point and it was just kind of like involuntary like convulsions or something like that. He did it like three times and then he was gone. His eyes were open, his tongue was out and he was, he had left us. I've honestly never seen an animal pass away before. Um, it was definitely one of the hardest things I think I've ever seen. Bear with me. I uh, picked him up, I wrapped him in his favorite blanket and we called the vet and we said, you know, we had an appointment at five o'clock, but he already passed away and we want to bring him in to get cremated so that we can have his ashes. And so they said, yeah, just come in right now. And so we just got in the car and we went. And like, I was really upset that like, he passed away at home and I, but now looking back, I think it was all for the best. He wanted to be home with us. He did not like going to the vet. <laughs> he hated the vet actually. He also hated going in the car. <laughs> So the fact that he passed away in our backyard, his favorite place underneath my chair, I think it was the way to go.
I think losing a pet has got to be like one of the hardest things that you ever have to go through. I miss him terribly. He was always by my side everywhere I went. I had a bed for him in each room that I hung out with, hung out in the most. The whole family is really upset because we all had time with him. When we first got him, he was living with my mom and dad and their other dog, Twinkie, which is Duke's brother. And then for a little while, like three years, he lived with my sister here in this house. And then when we moved here to this house, we've had him ever since. So we've had him by, by ourselves for seven years. And the hardest time is definitely in the morning when I get up and he's not there. And he usually follows me down the stairs or he waits for me at the bedroom door. And then he comes down the stairs with me. And then the hardest, another hard time is like when I'm making dinner, he would always be right underneath my feet. He's not there anymore. So it's just really weird and kind of eerie. And he hasn't been able to take walks for a while, but we used to take him for walks all the time, especially during COVID. We went like every single day for family walks and that was his favorite thing. He would stand at the door, he'd be so excited. <laughs> Just miss him, I miss him so much. And I know it's gonna get easier and I know we're gonna get a new animal, but it's hard. It's like losing a family member. But I had to share this video with you guys because it was so important to share about our family dog, Duke. He was such a huge part of our family. I know a lot of you guys are asking me what Autumn's reaction was, and honestly, Autumn didn't care. She, <laughs> I don't know if it's because she's not really a dog person, she's not really a cat person, she doesn't really like animals. Like, she could take them or leave them. She has no, like, connection to them. And I don't know if that's going to change as she gets older, but as of right now, she doesn't care. I think she does understand Duke's gone, but she doesn't really care. <laughs> the boys do care. The boys are obviously very upset and you know, they want to get a new dog because they want to build a new relationship with a new dog, not to get over Duke, but to start a new relationship with a new dog. Cause we love having animals. We love having dogs. I will be sharing our 4th of July with you guys next. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, also subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Lots more videos to come, so stay tuned.